is actually tuberculosis. A somber mood engulfed two families in Nandi County after the loss of their kin who died in a fatal road accident in Australia. The incident occurred on Sunday night, which claimed the lives of Penel Melly and Humphrey Ruto barely a year since they left Kenya for further studies. According to the preliminary police report, the vehicle they were riding in veered off the road and hit a tree along Tonkin Highway at 2 a.m. Elvis Koske with our trip story. Sanyak village in the county of Nandi, mourners from far and wide, thronged this homestead to condole with the parents and relatives of the late Humphrey Kipchir Chir, whose life was cut short months after traveling overseas. Jaffe Thiago and Fri's uncle say that their family is still in shock. The, the car, uh, yeah, ilipotesa amwelekeo. Ikakonka pavement, then it flight, uh, ikakonka meat, then it passed into flames. Um, na kariyote ilichomeka. Tunasikia tu ni namba plate ndiyo ilipatikana. Um, so the police were able to trace uh, the owners of the car by using uh, the number plate. Haka muambia tuende unionyeshe njia. So haka ingie kwa hii gari ya hii kijana. Haka kuja pamoja. Kufika njiani sasa ndiyo gari kapa hika konga baria. Na hika enda kukonga miti na hika past into flames. Walikuwa na mbangu mzuri. Walikuwa na... Walikuwa mashia panga kasi ni walikuwa nataka kutufanya. Lakini tunasema nini? Tunaacha mungu tu hiyo yote. After completing Form 4 in 2020, in the year 2023, Amfri was supported by the community and was admitted at Scots College to pursue a social and community development course. Watusaidia sana. Ile hii mambo ya maliswe haraka. Because tunajua kompa uh, to see Popata Usaidisi, if we don't get assistance from the government, the whole process will take so long. So we want the government of Kenya to assist us from Australia to facilitate the whole process. At Nuroto village in Mosoriot, 15 kilometers from Saniak, the family of Penuel Kipchumba Meli was inconsolable as they mourned the tragic death of their third born son. Kipchumba traveled to Australia barely five months ago and had joined DNA Kingston University in Perth where he was pursuing a diploma in business management. Dadi, ni kununulia kari. Mi mwenye ni kaambia uchinunulia sababu wewe meniambia kuna kasi mingi kula Australia. Ni kaona ya kwamba priority ni mbatia mtoto kwanza. Because after that, anga tununulia kari. So that's why ni kuambia li nunua Saturday sa ambili ya masa tatu. Tuseme usiku hiyo, ndo hiyo maneno ya katoke sea. We are appealing to the national government, the county government, everybody that are willing to assist us. The two are related, are relatives, are our relatives. So it is painful, it is painful, both from Saniak and uh, Osoriot. Uh, we still appeal to the government. Pato ingali na wanaendelea na upelelesi huko kwa hii accident ambaye litokea. Kwa hivyo tutui ni wakatikani ambaye tutaambiwa tuendeleshe na program ambaye tuko nayo. So ningeomba pia serikali ya wesu kutusaidi. The families have asked the government and the Australian embassy to intervene and help them in the process of repatriating their kin's remains. Elvis Kosge, KT News, Nandi County. A section of residents drawn from